We're looking at angle properties on lines and in triangles. So I'm going to start with a straight line. I'm going to have a look at what the properties are. So a straight line represents half a turn because that angle there is 180 degrees. Now if I take an extra line and chop it up, we'd still expect the whole thing to be 180 degrees. In which case, given half and told that this bit here is 50 degrees, then we can work out the other part of it by working out what's left over from 150. So any angles that are on a straight line are split up into a couple of parts, we can apply that rule there. If it asks for a reason for your answer, then all you need to put is angles. The other property we're going to have a look at today is angles in triangles. So I'm going to take a little physical example, show you how this works. So let's take first of all this corner, then this corner, and then this corner. And what you've got there are the three angles represented by my blue bit, my green bit, and my red bit. And with a little bit of rotation, you can place those angles together and see that they actually form a straight line. So what that means is because they form a straight line, just like we've got above, it means that angles inside a triangle add up to 180. So if you were given two of the angles, you could work out this one by taking away the angles you're given from 180. And the reason, and back to the problem on the right hand side. So we were working at angle A, B and C. Angle A, you'll see, is in the triangle at the bottom, along with 90 and 40. So if we take 180 degrees, take away the 90 degree angle, take away the 40 degree angle, then we're left with 50 degrees. So A is 50, and the reason is this. For B, we've got um, a straight line that contains A and B. So if we do 180 minus our answer for A, because that was 50, then we should be able to get B as 130. And the reason? Now if C is in a triangle with 30 and the 130 that we worked out for B. So if we take those both away from 180, we're left with 20. And C is 20, and again, the reason for this one. And that's the kind of answer you need to produce for angle problems. I hope that was useful. Thanks for listening.